Hi dear students and welcome to the NIOS Home Science Practical number 14 and our today's practical is about washing and finishing different types of fabrics. The objectives involved in this practical are number one, washing different types of fabrics, two, selecting the appropriate methods used for washing these fabrics, three, so using the appropriate cleansing agent so that the proper agents are used in order to wash this fabric so that no harmful effects are shown by the fabric or it is spoiled. Finally, to finish the garments so that it can be stored in your cupboard or somewhere else if you want to use it in future or in the present also. The three types of materials that we will be using today are number one, cotton fabric, number two, wool, number three, silk. If you are doing this practical at the home, you can what you can do is that you can either get a cotton dupatta or a sari. For wool, you can have a woolen shawl. And for silk, you can also have your silk dupatta or silk scarf, silk sari also at the same time. So these are the three, but I am using cut pieces. So these three fabrics will be used today to show you how its washing and finishing is being done. So let's come forward to the practical area and show you what are the materials required in this practical. And let's do the practical. So the materials required for the practical are buckets with some water filled in each one. I have used lukewarm water as it is a perfect medium for washing all types of fabric except for wool. For wool I will be washing, removing the water and using cold water instead. Then we are having here vinegar solution, soap or washing powder, starch for the cotton, gum powder for the silk, Rita nut solution both as whole and as powder we are having that is for your woolen cleaning our different types of fabrics the orange one is a cotton the blue one is a wool and a green one is our silk one by one we will be using a flat surface with a cloth down so that we can iron it and finish the garment and we need our iron make sure your iron is having the correct setting points so that the perfect, the perfect number is written on it as per what type of temperature has to be used in order to iron your different types of fabrics as fabrics are requiring different types of temperature to be ironed or cannot be ironed at the same temperature. So let's come forward to the practical and start it. So now dear students we will be taking our first fabric that is our cotton. So for a cotton let's say it is a dirty cotton okay so we will put it in our water but before that apply your put your washing powder. So I will be putting washing powder in it, giving a nice wash and a shake so that much lather is formed. If you feel that the water is more than the powder, add some more. Hands there. You can use your hands, that is hand safe. Now no chemical problems are there. The lather is formed and now into it we will add our cotton cloth and don't forget you need to soak it but in our video we are not having that much time to soak so I will just show you the practical what has to be done so that you people can learn from it and similarly the same method has to be done during your examination time. Let's say that our cotton has been soaked completely inside the water, soap water and now if there are any dirt or anything on the cotton fabric, what you need to do is give a rubbing method. Rubbing the cotton would not disturb the yarns inside or its position, it will still remain intact in its place. So this type of rubbing needs to be done if you are having any type of stain or any dirt or very thick dirt, okay? And depends upon the quality of the dirt. If the dirt is very thick, you must soak it for a much longer time, most probably about 30 to 40 minutes or some people also keep it for overnight. Give this rubbing method, once it is rubbed and you feel that it's clean or if there are different types of stain then you can watch my previous video where we are showing you what are the different methods for removing that stain and target that particular area and then keep your whole fabric for washing. As you can see we have rubbed it washed it, squeezed it, now let's final squeeze it out, take out all the soap as much as possible from it. 
Wipe in your hands. Now, this is still not completely clean. So we will put it into the water which is clean so that we can remove the excess soap from it. In this case, you can also leave it inside the water for about 5 to 10 minutes so that internally all the soap is out. So I would like to leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes into it so that all the soap is out. Till then what I will do is in my next bucket I have some water again hot in which I am going to add my starch powder so that the starch solution has been made to starch the cotton fabric. So what I will do is I have water in here and I will add my starch powder. Starch will act as a thickening agent and make our cotton cloth hard so that if the ladies are wearing dupatta and all, it is good for them. I will use the help of my spoon to eat, okay, dissolve the starch into the water and make sure there are no lumps inside otherwise they can have cause problems during the ironing part. Okay. You see the starch. Basically, some people would ask how much starch powder has to be used inside the water. Make sure you keep on adding the starch powder till it really looks like milky, as you can see here, or the color of a buttermilk. Now, I think my all the starch has been dissolved clearly as the water was also lukewarm, so there were no lumps there. Now, I will just take out my cotton fabric, which I feel it's clean out from all the so squeeze it out if you want you can do this process two three times also in the clean water so that you feel there are no more from my side I feel it's over so I won't be doing it more squeeze access and then dip it into the starch powder and soak it inside the solution for about next 10 to 15 minutes so now the 10 minutes are over and I will take out my cotton fabric out of the starch, squeeze it and then straighten it. Make sure to straighten it because the fabric will be in its shape. I would like to squeeze it more to eliminate as much as water and starch possible and then you will straighten it something like this so that it is straight from the side and then you can let it in the sun to dry once it is left inside the sun to dry after that you can take it in and then start with your ironing process so let me keep it for in the sun to dry it and then I will show you how to iron this fabric so dear students you can see we have the cotton has been dried into the sun and now is the time to iron it. So what I will be doing is lining it straight. In my iron, I am having the temperature degree where I can set it as per what I want on as per the numbers here. For cotton it says to set it on number 5. So I already set it for number 5 on 5 minutes and then now I will start ironing it slowly. But the most important thing, when you are ironing cotton fabrics, Make sure if it is a white one, you would sprinkle some water on it. Otherwise, the starch, since it is starch, the fabric can turn yellow. So I would just take a little bit of water, okay, and then sprinkle over it so that it is helpful for me to iron it. No, don't worry about these water spots, they will dry as they are just water. So you have to basically moisten the cloth, starched cloth, so that it doesn't turn yellow, especially the white fabrics. And basically when you starch the clothes, the clothes turn out to be hard. That is why these uh, cotton saris and cotton dupattas are having this very nice 
effect on it because of getting stuck. It actually becomes hard. You can see here how this is instead of falling, it is being straight like this. This is having the starch effect. So if you increase the starch concentration, the more harder it can become because of that. Now, let's say this was our dupatta example and then you can fold it. store it in your cupboard. This was the practical for your cotton fabric. Now let us come and see what we have to do with the woolen fabric. Dear students, you saw how we did the washing and finishing for a cotton fabric. Similarly, same method we will be using for our woolen fabric. So what needs to be done is a little bit different as compared to cotton. In this case, we are, as you know, we already have a soap solution in here. Into the soap solution, I would add my Rita nut solution. So this is a powder which I am mixing it into the my washing powder and then you can use your hand to stir because it is safe but make sure that it doesn't go into your eyes or you don't swallow it as it is poisonous. I will be taking my spoon and mixing it. The soap will help to incorporate all the Rita nut solution. Make sure there are no lumps and the color would change to brown as you can see here. It is brownish. So this has been completely dissolved. What I will do is take my woolen cloth and soak it into it. Soak it about for 5-10 minutes, that's more than enough. And then later, again similarly, but, uh, just like the cotton, but don't rub it, you have to knead it. So knead it, knead it. For kneading you would require a flat surface, so I'm not having it here, so I will use the side of my bucket to knead. So it is going to be actually like, just like how you knead your atta for your roti. That's how you knead and you wash. Knead and you wash. Inside the solution again. Knead. Wash. Little bit of rubbing can be used for removing any stains or dirtiness you have. And then one final dip and squeeze. I don't want to twist and squeeze it, so I'm just squeezing it by pulling it like this. Take out all the excess soap from my hand also. Okay, and having this fabric here. Now what I will do is wash it several times in different type, in just plain water so that all the soap is out.